Right, let's give this a go. So, because of the extended hole, I've had to put an inner tube in and got an inner tube here, fresh off eBay. So, first of all, date code on here, which I like to be on the outside, and we'll push the rim in as best we can. There's no exact science to this. But we've got it in. Next, I'll put the inner tube in. And actually you need to make sure that it's gonna be going in the correct way. So, inner tube in. And I'll tuck it in as best I can. Apologies if the camera works shoddy, but um, my phone's just propped up on a box at the moment. Keep at it. We're getting there. It's quite a hot day, so I am panting more than normal. Right, so we kind of got the inner tube in, but obviously we need to seat the tyre. So now I'm just going to go and take the wheel away and stick a bit of air in just to obviously make sure that the inner tubes inflated kind of uniformly so I'll be back in a sec So, the inner tube is loosely inflated. Um, so we're ready to fit. Now, the wheels, these are for a VB steamer trailer that I'm restoring, and they are slightly different size to other wheels with the holes. So I had them acid dipped. And then really it's just some cheap little trailer paint on there. But, you know, they'll be fine. Tires are eBay purchase, Kenders. And obviously the inner tubes, like I said before, they are a, a cheap eBay purchase. So, now, I find the best way to fit these is to obviously seat it with your knee. Get your knees round. Get it going. 
as much as you can. Bearing in mind, this, these tyres are new and they don't have a lot of give. Then, realising it's not the best weight really with an inner tube in there, I will attempt to just put the screwdriver in just enough to go over the rim and start easing the tyre over. Obviously I want to be trying to be careful because the last thing I want to do is nip the rim. Keeping going, <clears throat> there's a fair bit of pressure. But I'm trying to uh, avoid nipping the inner tube. There we go. Right, so. Just really now to inflate it to you know kind of 30 psi so what i do i go and inflate it these obviously not there got tubes in so they don't pop onto the rim but they will expand onto it back in a sec There we go. So 30 psi. That's pretty good. As you can see, a standard valve wouldn't fit in there very well because it's been bored out more. But pretty good with the tubing, really. Um, saves a fair bit of cash. You know, nice cheap fix. Thanks for watching.